In this video, I will explain how to express the given functions into max term canonical form that is POS form. Express the following functions into max term canonical form. Here I am taking three examples. We will try to convert the given Boolean functions into max term canonical form. Let me take one by one. In max term canonical form, each sum term should consist of all the variables. Here by observing this expression, we can say that the expression is having three variables that is a, b and c. So by observing this term, here the variable c is missing. So we are supposed to add the value of c such that it should not disturb this equation. So I can represent the same thing y as a plus b plus the variable c is missing here. I will write it as c, c dash because we know that c c dash is always equal to 0 which is nothing but a plus b. Similarly, here the term b is missing. I can add b as a dash plus c dash is as it is. I will add the missing variable that is b b dash which is same as b b dash is nothing but 0 which is same as a dash plus c dash. Here I can write because c c dash is equal to 0 and b b dash is equal to 0. Also we know that suppose a plus b c can be represented as a plus b that is a plus b and a plus c that is a plus c. So now I will try to apply this boolean law to this expression. I can represent y as so here let me consider a plus b as single term as say a and this b c is equivalent to c c dash. In that case I can represent this as a plus b the one expression one term that is c. Similarly this a plus b plus the another term that is c dash. Similarly I will apply the same boolean law to this one. I can represent this as this two term as it is that is a dash plus c dash plus one term that is b. Similarly a plus c dash plus b dash that is a dash plus c dash plus b dash. So this is max term canonical form. Here we can observe that each sum term is having all variables that is a b c. Let me take the second example that is C. So now I can represent it as A plus B dash. Here the term C is missing. By observing this expression we can say that the function f consists of three variables that is A, B and C. So in first sum term we have C is missing. So I can represent it as C c dash which is c c dash is nothing but 0. Similarly here b dash plus c the term a is missing that is a a dash which is same as b dash plus c. Now again apply the same boolean law that is a plus b c can be represented as a plus b and a plus c. This a will be taken with one term of b and with c. Similarly here I can represent it as I will these two term considered as single term that is a plus b dash. Now I will represent c c dash as 1 with c and again I will represent it as a plus b dash plus c dash. Similarly here b dash plus c assume that it is single term this will be added with a similarly b dash plus c plus a dash. So this is, so here we can observe that a plus b dash plus c and here also we have a plus b dash plus c. So here it exists two times we can represent it as only one term. So here the sum term exists two times so we can represent it by one term that is a plus b dash plus c and here we have a plus b dash plus c dash 
and we have a dash plus b dash plus c so this is max term canonical form let me take the another example that is so now by observing this expression we can say that the function y consists of four variables that is a b c and d so observing the first term we can say that here the variable d is missing we supposed to add d such that it should not disturb this equation so i can represent this y as a plus b bar plus c plus d d bar which is nothing but zero which is same as this expression similarly in this term two variables are missing one is b another one is c so i can represent it as a bar i'll take a bar d d bar a bar plus d plus b b bar plus c c bar now i will simplify this further so this can be represented as i will assume first three term as a single term that is a plus b bar plus c this term will be added with one term of d d bar that is the d similarly in another bracket i will take the first three terms as a single term b bar plus c now i will join with second term that is d bar similarly here i can represent it as a bar plus d plus b b bar as a single term i can represent it as a bar plus d plus b b bar i will keep it as it is now i will add this with one term of this that is c in another bracket i can consider the first three terms as it is that is a bar plus d plus b b bar plus c bar so now i will represent this term as it is a plus b bar plus c plus d this term also i will keep it as it is a plus b bar plus c plus d bar so here now we have b b bar i will try to represent this as this term i will represent it as a bar plus d plus c plus one term of b b bar that is b so in another bracket i will take it as a bar plus d plus c plus b bar so similarly now i will consider this term this term can be represented as a bar plus d plus c bar now i will take one term of this that is b similarly in another bracket the first three terms are as it is a bar plus d plus c bar plus b bar thus we are having six terms in function y so so in another notation this can be represented as pi m that is max terms here we can see that in max term variable a can be represented by 0 and complement can be represented by 1 so it is equivalent to 0 1 0 0 that is nothing but 4 so here it is 0 1 0 1 that is 5 so here we have 1 0 0 0 that is 8 here we have 1 1 0 0 that is 12 so here we have 1 0 1 0 that is 10 here we have 1 1 1 0 that is 14 so this is the max term canonical form thank you for watching